What's really important is that you can't assume that everyone is a union member. And in fact, lots of the people who have never been union members have just never been asked. So as a rep, it is your responsibility to make the effort to go and have those conversations with people, ask, you know, are you in a trade union? And just being that sort of point of contact to make the union feel real to the members is, is a great way to bring them in. It's really important to make sure that everyone in the workplace is a union member and you do that by opening up that conversation. Opening up that conversation with new members of staff usually starts along the line of, I'm the rep, we're working here together as a staff to make our conditions better. How do you feel about joining us? And that's it, it opens the door and then we normally have a really long conversation about how we can make things better. So if I, if I see a new member of staff, the first thing I'm going to ask them is, are you OK? Um, and then from there, you can have a discussion about what their concerns are. And then you can have a conversation about whether or not they are in a union. And, and if they are in a union, then that's great. If not, then just, just give them and say, OK, well, I'm the union rep. If you've got any concerns, let me know. Um, and if you wish to join, go for it. So with new members of staff, I'll make the effort to go and sit down with them and have a chat about have you joined a union, have you thought about unions in general, um, and then obviously make the case for the NEU. Um, it's particularly important with student teachers because a lot of um, access to um, union materials that would traditionally come through the PGC route has been eroded over the last few years. So it is especially important to make to, as a rep to proactively go and have those conversations with new teachers. So reps are definitely the best people to recruit new members. You're there in schools, you are um, working with your colleagues every day. They understand you as a friend, as a colleague, and you build that relationship. That relationship comes first, they know you, they know who you can trust, and then they come to talk to you as a rep. It's really, really important that we build those relationships first. I absolutely think reps are the best people to recruit new members because those are the people who are at the forefront of the struggle within their workplace. You know, they're, they're well versed in sort of how the union works and union politics, but they're also very familiar with their situation, the sort of concrete conditions that their colleagues face on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, reps know their institutions and they know the pressures that people face. So reps are always the best people to, to recruit. They, they know what people are going through. They know what, what the challenges of that unique institutions are and also they know what the management are like and they know how to get, get themselves through the system, you know, if you know what I mean. They're able to speak to everyone and, and build that sort of collectivise around issues which, which someone externally wouldn't necessarily be able to do.